Hello Sharkies, Jojo here from Big Shark Game. We're going to be playing some Pokemon Showdown today. We'll do two or three battles depending on how long they take. So uh, let's get it going. We're going to do some randoms. Just chill in the randos. Uh, I'm using the name Polar Banana, so if any of you happen to battle with me, let us know. We're playing against quite a great name. Swag Pussy Money. Well, now that we know what you're all about, let's go ahead and get Stealth Rocks out against Frostlass, who should have nothing against Bastiodon, unless it has Hidden Power Fire. Which even that wouldn't be too big of a deal, being Steel and Rock against the uh, Ghost and Ice Frostlass, who is uh, quite fast, usually. It's probably Life Orb or Leftovers. Very occasionally is it Folk Sashed. I've been playing Rando for quite some time, maybe a year and a half now, so you get to know some of the sets. I think I'm up there in like the 1400s. I was up in the 17s, but went on a long losing streak. <laughs> um, nothing I could do about Randos, man. It's tough. I got a pretty good team here with Bufalan, uh, Vespaquin, Aegislash, Breloom I like a lot, um, and Charizard, and he actually sends out the second form of uh, Honet here. Oh, I got the third form. Now I can't use Toxic. I can't use Rock Glass, really. So, you know, let's... Hmm. We could go into Charizard here. We could. Got two options there, so let's go Charizard. Charizard away. Really don't want to give away my Mega so soon, and Sacred Sword is not going to do anything. So we'll, we'll go into the Mega and we'll Fire Blast. He's probably going to switch. He got two Ghost types. That's going to be a little tough. Ghost and Ice. And um, Ghost Steel here in Dewblade. Dewblade's definitely got an Eevee Light on it, though. So buffed up defenses. And he switches out to Jolteon. Interesting switch. Very fast and went KO'd by Solar Power Fire Blast. Let's see what he switches into now. Dewblade and uh, Frostlass are both completely um, counter. Another Porygon 2. This is the second game in a row where I've gotten Porygon 2. <laughs> He's not going to know that I have Focus Blast. It's going to hit him super, but he had another Eviolite Pokemon here. <laughs> Two Eviolites and two Ghosts, and Focus Blast misses, of course. Thunderbolt comes down. Um, you know what, let's switch. We'll switch into... Let's see what we got. Vespaquin is not an option. Uh, Aegislash could be an option. He has Recover on this set, probably Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Tri-Attack. Tri-Attack does nothing. Thunderbolt and Ice Beam are both resisted, and I have Sacred Sword, so let's go with that. <laughs> Save Charizard for later, he'll be easy for uh, Dewblade and Frostlass. There goes my Balloon. And I got paralyzed. I'm already slow, so that wouldn't have made much of a difference. Let's go into Sword Zance. Hopefully he goes into Tri-Attack and just forgets that I'm not affected by it. Frostlass comes out to 25% damage. And Kyurem comes out to 25%. And he's also... Let's see, what would he have here? Let's, let's King Shield just for the hell of it. Just to see what he has. Scout a little bit. I never got that Sword Zant out, and I never got the King Shield out either. Um... This is troublesome now. He's gonna go with Earth Power again. Does Vespaquin have anything that could. No, doesn't really. I could go back into Charizard, but he might expect that switch. I could go into Bastiodon, but he's gonna use Earth Power and it's gonna be times four if it is Earth Power. Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's go to Bufa. Bufalin at least has Stone Edge. And he goes with Draco Meteor. Good thing I didn't switch into a. Uh... Actually, Charizard's not Dragon. Could have switched into him. Uh, he's way faster than me. This is a problem. So far, not very good. 
I'm up one with Jolteon, but a lot of my Pokemon have taken damage already, and four of them have been revealed. He doesn't know about Breloom, he doesn't know about Vespaquin. And he switches into a Dewblade, he's gonna go into his Donut, he's not gonna do much. It's rather unfortunate. Um. Oh, gosh. This is gonna be tough, because Dewblade's times 4 against Bastiodon. Now I know Kyurem has Earth Power, so that's times 4 against Bastiodon. Breloom is an option here, but... I can't head charge because I'm not scrappy. Oh. I'm just going to have to try to do as much damage as I can here. And I miss. Oh, no, I don't. It's just resisted. It ran off to the side as if I missed. Paralyzed, so. Let's go, Vespi. Um, he might have Stone Edge. I don't know how often. Dewblade's new to the random generator. It's only been here for maybe two or three weeks or so. So we'll go defend order. He might have Stone Edge and that might be a problem, but... That might be the only thing that is a problem. Double resist fighting. Um, he might switch. He, he might switch. My defense is up on stage. I'm faster. I could go for sub. But let's go attack water. Um, it's gonna be resisted, but high chance of critical hit. <sighs> and that did nothing. Th this game is gonna be a loss. Um, I'll switch into Iggy slash to stick the hit. It'll it'll be game over for Iggy, but <laughs> I'd rather lose him than Basti uh, Vespiquen. I could have switched into Iggy and, and King Shielded, but there's a chance the paralysis goes off and that's not going to be good. Hopefully he doesn't have Shadow Sneak. He's probably going to switch, but into what? He could switch into Porygon 2, but I don't think he's going to. He might switch into the 6th. Or... No, no, I don't think Dublin can take a Fire Blast, not in the sun. Um, none of his Pokemon could really hold up against Charizard in this battle. Charizard counters, Frost Last counters Kyurem pretty well. Um, switches into Love Disc, that's his sixth. And Fire Blast misses, of course. Um, I'm not faster in Love Disc, and I can't take a Scald. This is unfortunate, I would have Solar Beamed, but... Um, oh, let's go into Breloom. Um, Bastiodon doesn't even resist the Scald. Steel doesn't resist water and... Toxic. If only I was a Toxic Heal set. The very rare Toxic Heal Breloom. I could go Swords Dance, because I'll have a few turns under Toxic. and He won't expect that. I'm thinking he's going to expect a Spore. None of his Pokemon have statuses, right? The Ferocious is still brand new. Oh, he protected. That's nice. So his Sword Dance. The Protect was nice. Um, he might try for it again and he might switch. So let's go Bullet Seed. Um, Rock Tomb is an option right now to get that speed down, but... If I Rock Tomb now, he's going to take it. He's going to res uh, resist the hit. He's going to survive and he's going to protect again. Breland's probably going to be out of here. We gotta go Bullet Seed now. He might switch into Kyurem for the double resist. Oh, Dewblade. Okay. Got three hits out of it. That's nice. Um, can't mock punch. <laughs> Almost did. I should be able to survive one more Toxic. And I'm gonna be faster than him, so he might switch again. No, he stays in and takes it. Hopefully I get the third one. Nope, of course not. No luck. And Toxic kills me. <sighs> 97, 98, just, just an inch faster. Gotta go into Charizard. 
See, now I have the option to play Solar Beam, though. Sorry if you could hear my chair. My chair is really noisy. Um, it's a little uncomfortable also. It's a little wooden chair, but just not the most comfortable thing in the world. <sighs> okay. Now I can play Solar Beam, just in case he goes back into Love Disk. I can play Dragon Pulse, just in case he goes into Kirim, but... I don't think that's going to be a thing. I think I'm fast in a Kirum. Oh, he, ke he keeps Dewblade and I reveal that I have Solar Beam. <laughs> the problem is that I'm not faster than I love this, and he's in the pull out love this now. Love this, and I don't really have much that can <laughs> go against it. Oh, Kirum. Oh, Kyurem. Just a little bit slower than me, and I'm going to go Focus Blast, and you know, we'll go Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse should have the power to uh, kill Kyurem. Yeah, there we go. Back in control of this battle now. Still have Basket on, which doesn't help. <laughs> Still have Vesper Quinn, which doesn't really help. But as long as we get through that Love Disc... Yeah, he goes into Frost Last again. This is... This is weird. He has that love disc. I don't think he trusts love disc enough. Um, Thunder wave, <laughs> and of course the paralysis goes off. Um, that's a big time problem now. He might go into uh, um, Porygon two, take the fire blast, and be able to outspeed me, hit it with thunderbolt. But he doesn't do that. Paralysis <laughs> goes off again. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, bad luck all over the place. As Seize says the hacks. Tries our paint. Uh God. I don't have much. He if he has Ice Beam on a Frost Last, which he's going to. Um it's gonna hit me super effective and Oh god. It's a problem here. Oh, he uses Taunt, and... Well... Only option now. So he has... Shadow Ball... He has Taunt... And Thunder Wave. How I wish I had Roost. <laughs> That'd be fucking nice, even though I can't use it right now, but... He's not gonna be able to kill me with Shadow Ball. By the time Taunt runs out and Roost would have came in and been nice, and if he does have Ice Beam and he's just holding it, then I could have uh, Roosted and not taken a super effective hit. Switching to Porygon 2, and he gets 1.5 special attack boost, and that's trouble. I should have infestationed. Um, he's going to Thunderbolt, so let's go into Bastiodon, who double resists. There we go with the prediction of Thunderbolt. Um, Stab Rock Blast might actually take a chunk into Porygon. It's also super effective against um, Frost Loss if he switches back in and he goes into Love Disc. Get the crit there. I don't think Love Disc could one hit KO Bastiodon. So let's go with Toxic here. Um, we could protect next turn. He's going to be faster than me. We'll protect next turn, get the Toxic damage in. And then we have the option of going for a second protect and hoping, or playing switch around. As you see, Skull doesn't do much. Toxic misses, of course. And uh, there's no luck this battle. It's just been bad luck battle all day. Um, toxic missed. Fire Blast missed when I needed it to. Um, toxic hits this time, and now we can play the protect team. It's a shame that I have Focus Sash on before, I mean, uh, Air Balloon on before, rather than um, Leftovers, because Leftovers would have been nice in this situation. Uh, you know what? Let's go Protect again, and hope. And it goes off! Okay, now... 
the option is switch. We could, we could switch. Um. God. That that was beautiful. Um, we could defend order now, or we could even throw up a sub. I'm slower than it though, so we'll defend order once. We'll throw up a sub, and Toxic should be able to take it out. If they get burned, oh, he has Toxic. That's not nice. That is not good at all. I'm in trouble here now. Now I can't sub. Now I have to play fast. Now I kind of regret that um <laughs> that defend order, but it'll help me along. Oh. I can even get another defend order out. I'm going to be slower than him, so let's go to defend order. Hopefully it goes through, because sometimes Shodan has that problem where things won't. <sighs> he ice beams me. It's super effective. It doesn't do much. I'm going to defend order again. Have two out. Toxic's going to kill him. It's going to hurt me. Um, God. Now we have Frost Lass and Porygon 2, and this has become quite the close battle against Wyag Quizzigma. Oh, God, this chair. Not comfortable at all. Also, he's short somewhere and aren't too comfortable with that. It's like a double whammy. Frost Lass comes in, takes the damage. He's going to hit with attack order. Hopefully, Ice Beam is not going to be able to kill me. Shadow Ball won't be able to kill me. He might taunt me. Yeah. Um, I don't know why he would taunt me. Oh, attack order got disabled. Oh. 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 That's heartbreaking. Could have won the game just now, but. Oh. God. Swag Pussy Money says GG, which means good game for those of you who don't know. But, ah, oh. man, that was so unfortunate. <laughs> Attack order getting disabled. So unfortunate. Bad luck this entire game, and we lose it out as my rating goes down to 1399. Alright, we'll do one more battle. Let's hopefully better luck this game, because last game was just the RNG was just all over me. I was playing against 3DG3. He's using Q and another Dewblade. And this is a terrible start for me because I get Dugong. He gets super effective hits by both of his stabs. Well, not stab, ghost, but sacred sword as well as uh, iron head. And I can't even toxic him, so this is a waste. I'm gonna go with surf. Hopefully, he goes with sword dance, and I can be faster at him. If he goes with sword dance again, I'm gonna switch. Then he gets encored into sword dance. If not, then Dugong's probably dead. He's definitely gonna be evil light, like we saw last time. Um. Let's hit this start timer. Maybe we'll get a win out of a uh, timeout here. By a good old Hugh over there. Yep. Oh, there's Sacred Sword. Um, unfortunate. I have Focus Sash. I don't know why they would give Dugong a fortune, uh, Focus Sash. Dugong is pretty bulky. It has decent HP, def decent special defense. I don't understand the Focus Sash on it. But. It is what it is. That's uh, Smogon being Smogon, just typical bad Smogon. For those of you who don't know and haven't followed us for a while, um, I did have a giant rant on Smogon. Not uh, not just Smogon, but like Smogon's mechanics. Well, how do you do the stupidest things all the time? We're going to Ice Beams to be super effective here. Stab, super effective. Could do a decent chunk to the very bulky Amoongus. That is a decent chunk. And he Giga Drains me. Super effective. Doesn't get that much back. As I said, you see, Dugong is pretty bulky. Took that super effective hit pretty well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill Amoongus now, though. And that's the problem. Um. 
Maybe. I did 59 last time, maybe I'll do 60 this time. No, I do way less. Do 53. <laughs> oh, way less. I don't get it. <laughs> Let's go into Ferrothorn. He won't be able to do much with Ferrothorn. He has to resist. I mean, uh, he has to switch out. He won't be able to spore me. He'll get his regenerator, but that's not a big deal. We're going to Stealth Rocks. It's a shame Ferrothorn can't learn Spore. Um, it, it would be nice. <laughs> it would make him really broken, though. Hidden Power Fire. Ugh. Hidden Power Fire. Oh! And he left. Now we have to wait. So, um... He didn't forfeit, I hate when people do this. Um, but, uh, so we wait 60 seconds. So how are you guys? Um, we've been kind of busy here. We have a new schedule up. I'll leave that link in the description for our new schedule. This is a new thing that we're going to be doing. Um, probably streaming some more games from our computer. Not just a Pokemon Showdown, but other games as well. Um, We'll be able to put that up on our YouTube. We should be able to get like some emulators and ROMs and stuff, be able to play games. So if you want to request a game, you could do so at either Instagram.com slash BigSharkGaming or BS-Gaming.tumblr.com. We'll leave both those links in the description as always. Um, tomorrow is Pokemon Corner. If you want to learn how to battle with some Pokemon, learn some insight. Thursday is Monster of the Week, Dragon Quest Monster of the Week by Jay. Friday, um... We have our hilarious Flashback Fridays, which have been getting snarkier and snarkier and just funnier and funnier, where we review a game that's at least five years old, and um, uh, we give a little bit of a review rating, and we talk about the plot as I go back up to 14, 17. I wasn't in the 1300s very long now, was I? Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Check us out in the links below. If you like this video, subscribe. And uh, if you want to request a themed battle, you want to give me six Pokemon to use, I can use that if you want to see me do UU, OU, whatever it is. I prefer UU, but uh, just leave your roster below and um, I'll do it. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.